G'day folks, Luke here from Fish That Snag. Here's a couple of quick tips about fighting big fish in the shallows. Watch what this flathead does once he realises he's hooked in about two foot of water. First thing he's done is get his head up out of the water and try and throw that hook. Kind of makes sense when you think about it. Under the water, when their head's under the water, there's more resistance on that hook, so it's harder for them to shake it. Get it up out of the water into the air, there's less resistance and more chance of that hook coming out. A good way to avoid this happening is keep your rod tip low. Once you've got the strike, you know the hook has embedded itself in the fish's mouth. Get your rod tip nice and low and fight the fish with your rod tip low, if not almost in the water. Wow. This guy does not want to come to the boat. Your other thing you'll notice in the footage, as I'm fighting the fish, I'm adjusting my drag. Don't be afraid to adjust your drag tighter and looser as the fight progresses, okay? You need to be really careful here. I've only got a really light 10 pound litre. Uh, sorry, eight pound litre. I'm in about two foot of water. The drag is there to cushion against the fish when it wants to make a run, especially when you're using light gear. You'll notice on the deck footage I'm keeping the rod tip really low because he's trying to get up above the water to shake it out. Once they see the boat, they are going to run, okay? This is where a lot of fish get lost. They sort of come up almost to the surface. They see the boat, they see you, they see your ugly mug and bang, they want to take off as quick as they can. Be ready for it. As he gets tired, I increase the drag strength so there's more resistance, so he takes more energy to try and take that run, and you'll notice he goes really, really quiet and docile. There you go, folks, I'm all done. Another mid-60s Fraser Coast flathead hits the deck. Hope you managed to get out of the water sometime, folks, and catch yourselves a feed, and as always, all the best. I hope to see you out there one day. Thank you.